Welcome to Agoracom, a small cap episode on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investments Monday, May the 10th. Happy, happy uh, Mother's Day again to all the moms yesterday. Hope you had a great weekend. I've got four great press releases for you. Resource are dominating, but I really like the news from all over the world. USA, Australia, China, you name it, we've got it. Let's get straight to it. First off, let's start off with Renee Sola, trades on the NYSE under SOL. They announced their first quarter 2010 results. Nice numbers here. This is a global manufacturer of solar wafers and a provider of solar module OEM services. These numbers as of March 31st, 2010. What I really find impressive about these comparables in the number is that they're doing them sequentially, not year over year. That's showing some great growth. That's going to play into my comments at the end. Uh, total solar, solar product shipments, those are up uh, to a record 242.5 megawatts, up 12.5%. Revenue, $206.5 million, up 14.8%. Gross profit, $35.3 million. Uh, their margin, 17.1%, uh, compared to a negative margin of 0.6% of in the last quarter. Big uh, improvement there. Net income, $11.8 million, $0.07 cents per, day, per basic and diluted share. But on the American depository shares, the ADSs, that's $0.14 cents per share. If you play out the numbers relative to where they closed out on Friday, 661, that gives you about 11.8 ti 11 times earnings. Now, I think that's cheap given the fact they're growing top line and bottom line pretty quickly here on a sequential basis, not year over year. Very important. And that doesn't take into account their balance sheet, though. So that may actually be a good thing or a bad thing. But they've got a strong balance sheet. That means you're buying uh, even less of the company's operations because uh, the theory would say that you have some of that earnings per share in cash and, uh, and other assets that the company may have. So really nice news out of this company. And you've got to like that space, the solar space. The company says they possess a global network of suppliers and customers that include some the leading global manufacturers of solar cells and modules. That's Renee Sola. Definitely worth taking a look at. I like this news today. They closed 661 Friday, 324 on the 52 week low, 875 on their 52 week high. Good news out of them. Next up, US Gold trades on the big board, TSX under UXG and on the Amex for American friends under the stock symbol UXG. Uh, they announced that regional drilling in Mexico returned. 214 grams per ton of silver over 16 meters. This is out there, Palmarito project in Mexico. Uh, these are results from five core holes there. Palmarito is located nine miles from the company's flagship El Gallo Silver Discovery. And timely press release, given the fact that the uh, uh, the announcement on Friday that they're looking into J.P. Morgan's uh, possible silver manipulation might be great for U.S. Gold. Given this news, uh, that was their best hole, the highlight hole I gave you uh, to put into a different term: 6.2 ounces of silver per ton over 52.8 feet. That's a pretty nice number. Go do some math there. A little bit about, about the company. According to them, strong treasury, no debt, two significant land holdings, one in Nevada next to Barrick Gold's multi-million ounce Cortez project, and the other in Mexico where an exciting, according to the company, quote-unquote, high-grade silver discovery has been made. The company says they have good market liquidity, trading a million shares uh, daily, and are included in the S&P, TSX, and Russell indices. Great uh, great example of an up-and-coming small cap junior. Uh, you've got Mark McEwen, uh, or Rob McEwen, sorry, I keep confusing the chef, the great chef and the great CEO. Rob McEwen, who's running the company over there, and he's doing a great job. Closed Friday, 345, 52-week high, 392. So they're closing the, they're trading the close, uh, close to the top end of their 52-week range. 52-week low, $2.16. Next up, Legend International Holdings, uh, LGDI on the OTC. This isn't a Gorecom client, have to disclose that. But as always, we don't talk about a Gorecom client news unless it stands on its own two feet. If you don't know a lot about Legend after this, go take a look at my blog. You can get there from the front page of agorcom.com. Do a search for LGDI or Legend. I've had some great 
updates on this company, including the fact that you've got people like George Soros, uh, who's holding a pretty significant portion of this company, talking about double digits uh, through his funds. And there's a reason for that. People are putting their money where their mouth is. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do your own due diligence. Assume we're horribly conflicted. But I got to like it when George Soros puts his money where his mouth is. So the news today, they announced significant milestones achieved and a project update for their Georgia Basin Phosphate Project, uh, which is in Queensland, Australia. Here are the highlights. First of all, a feasibility study is on track for completion this quarter. We always like to see that because it means a third party is coming in and actually uh, confirming what the company thinks they have. So let's wait for that to see uh, what comes out of that. Uh, Paradise South, one of their great projects, uh, as an inferred mineral resource estimate has been completed with an approximate 80% increase in tonnage. Have to like that. Uh, they signed an MOU with Extrata. No, uh, no need to introduce that company here regarding supply of sulfuric acid uh, to a phosphoric acid plant in Mount Isa. They also have an MOU with Koji Chemicals to develop a joint venture for the production of sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid storage, and sulfuric acid storage for the phosphoric acid plant, phosphoric acid plant. And finally, they signed landmark agreements with, tra with the traditional Aboriginal owners for Paradise North and their D-Tree mining leases. So a lot of work done there, great foundation kind of work. Plus, I like the fact that we're going to see numbers in terms of a feasibility study, and they've already uh, increased their tonnage by 80% over on Paradise South. So good news out of the company. Closed on Friday, dollar five. 52-week low, 55 cents. 52-week high, a dollar 60. So they're sitting about dead smack in the middle there. Do your own due diligence. Take a look. Uh, nice news out of the company. And finally. China Natural Gas, NASDAQ, CHNG, they announced their first quarter numbers as a provider of compressed natural gas for vehicular fuel and pipeline natural gas uh, for industrial commercial use and so on and so forth. Revenue is up 4.5% to $19.5 million, but gross profit net and net income are both down. Gross profit is down 5.5% to $9.1 million. Net income was down about 5% to $4 million, or 19 cents per share, which still isn't terrible if you uh, extrapolate that out, if they can maintain that, assume they don't decrease or increase. Talk about 80 cents per share on an annualized basis. They close on Friday at $8.40. So you're looking about a company trading about 10 times PE. Uh, not bad, especially when you're talking about China. 52-week high, though, $18. 52-week low, $7.00 closer definitely to the bottom end of the 52-week trading range. Go take a look at what's going on there. Never know. Might be an opportunistic opportunity to be able to get in and, uh, and buy some stock before it starts its next upswing. That's a wrap. Fantastic day. If you look for more great small cap news or more small cap resource information and you watch this on Globe, then uh, watch uh, all the news to the bottom of me or the left of me, depending on where you watch this on Globe Investor. And on Agoracom, get to the front page, watch the show, Read the headlines and go into the marketplace and find the great companies we've got there for you. That's a, that's a wrap. Have a fantastic day. See you tomorrow.